What are you doing, Sylvia? Looking around. Relax, why don't you? I gotta get used to things. Sit, Sylvia. I'm not ready to sit. I said sit. I'm too nervous to sit. Down, Sylvia, down. I'm worried about where I sleep. Do I sleep on this couch? I said sit down, Sylvia. Sit down. Ouch! Then sit. I'm sitting, I'm sitting. Good girl. Now stay. I'm staying. Good girl. That's a very good girl. You don't have to hit, you know. It didn't hurt. It most certainly did. Then I'm sorry. You ought to be. I just want you to be on your best behavior. Kate gets home any minute. Who's Kate? My wife, okay? Okay, but you don't have to hit. Then I won't ever again, I promise. Okay. <laughs> I love you. You do? I really do. <laughs> I think you do. Even when you hit me, I love you. Thank you, Sylvia. I think you're God if you want to know. No, now sit. But I think you're God. No, now stay, Sylvia. Stay and sit. But I want to sit near you. Well, all right. <laughs> Nearer, my God, to thee. Okay, as long as you sit. Good girl. Now let me read the paper. I guess I did. You did. You saved my damn life. I would have never survived out there on my own. I did what anyone would do, Sylvia. Oh, no. Someone may have ignored me or, or shoot me away or even turned me in. But not you. You welcome me with open arms. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Sylvia. I was beginning to panic. I, I hardly knew where to turn. I thought my days were numbered. And then there you were. There I was, all right. <laughs> I felt some immediate connection, didn't you? I did, actually. I feel it now. So do I. <laughs> I do, Sylvia. You're a good girl, Sylvia. I'll try to give you a good home. Thanks, Greg. And I'll try to show my appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Hey, hey! What? Hey, 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 hey! All that! <laughs> that that's the door that's just Kate going for work. Hey, 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 hey! Stop barking, Sylvia! She's a teacher. She likes an orderly classroom. Now show her you can be a good girl. Hey, hey, hey! No! Now, quiet, Sylvia. Quiet down. Be a good, quiet girl. Hello? Hey, hey! Please, Sylvia, please make a good first impression. Am I crazy? I thought I heard a... Dog. This is Sylvia, Kate. Hi, what's Sylvia, going on? this is Kate. What's going on, Greg? I, I like you, Lisa. least I think I like you. Hi, stop it. Go away. Greg, what is this? Now, Kate, sit, Sylvia. I was just trying to... I said sit. See? Good girl. Isn't she a good girl? <laughs> what's the story, Greg? I found her in the park. The park? I was sitting in the park, and she jumped right into my lap. Back up, please. You were sitting in the park. When were you sitting in the park? This afternoon. I took a break from the office. I had another fight with Harold. Oh. So I went to the park to cool off. Greg. I was just sitting there and up came Sylvia. I love you. I know you do, Sylvia, but sit. Gladly, Greg. <laughs> Tell me another, Greg. It's true. You whistled. You beckoned. I did Something. not. You were always doing that with dogs. I didn't this time, Kate. Actually, I was asleep. I was... Dozing in the sun, and suddenly, Sylvia, right, Sylvia? Right, right, exactly. Sylvia. Sylvia. Why Sylvia? The name was on her tag. See? Sylvia. <laughs> what else is on her tag? Nothing. Look, just Sylvia. She was lost and abandoned, Kate. Sylvia. Hi, Kate. See, she knows. She answers to it, don't you, Sylvia? I do. I definitely do. What a name for a dog, Sylvia. No, it fits. I looked it up. It means she of the woods. <laughs> she of the woods has fleas. Well, I'll deal with that. I'll get her all checked out. Why, Greg? To deal with the fleas. No, I mean, why a dog, darling? Why not? In the city, Greg. I like dogs. I know, sweetheart, but here now with the kids gone. I love dogs. I love you. See, she knows that. She sensed it immediately. She latched right on. <laughs> Well, I'm 
coming right up, darling. What do you mean? Sweetheart, I'm exercising a veto. I'm saying no to Sylvia. No. M period, O period. Not in New York, not at this stage of our lives, no. Katie. You work all day, I work all day, we go out a lot. Out! Did I hear the word out? <laughs> We're going out tonight, as a matter of fact. Love that word out. Tonight? <laughs> the Waldmans have tickets for that chamber music concert. So we're meeting for dinner and going to that, remember? All right. And tomorrow night we have our Spanish lessons. And Saturday night we're going to the Knicks game with the Kramers. <laughs> so no Greg, no Sylvia, there's no need. I have a need. What need? I'm not sure, but I have it. Oh, Greg. It's a definite need. Greg. If I could explain it, Kate, if I could put it neatly into words, it wouldn't be so much of a need. I love you. And she needs me. When do we eat? Oh, she needs anyone who'll give her a meal. No, it's more than that. Much more, Kate. We've bonded, Kate. Oh, ouch. That's an overworked word, Greg. I really want her, Kate. And I really don't. So what do we do? I don't know. I hate situations like this. I've been caught in the middle before, and I just hate it. What is she, a mutt? I think she's part lab. She's a mutt. She's got a lab's disposition. She likes everybody, don't you, Sylvia? I do. Everybody, my aim in life is to please. I also think she may be part poodle. Mais oui, monsieur. Ooh la la. <laughs> She's not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, Greg. Well, that's what I like about her. You've got hybrid vigor, don't you, Sylvia? You are multicultural. You better believe it. Think of her as an American, Kate. Canis Americanus. That's Sylvia. I pledge allegiance, I solemnly swear. Is she out praying? I think so. You think so? Are you house trained, Sylvia? Oh, yes, definitely, absolutely, no question. She probably isn't. Well, she was a good girl walking home, weren't you, Sylvia? You were a very good girl. <laughs> We were a very good girl twice, weren't we? Yes, we were. I made puke, Greg. Oh, look, sweetheart, give her a chance, poor lost soul. That someone else around here is behaving like a poor lost soul. All the more reason, sweetheart. Maybe that's the need. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hello, Harold. Yes, he's right here. He wants to talk to you. I don't feel like talking. He's your boss, for God's sake. I'll take it in the other room. Sounded a little mad, Greg. Yes, well, I'm mad, too. The guy thinks he owns me. I hope you apologize. For what? For leaving work in the middle of the day. It's the best thing I've done in years. Oh, yes, why? It got me Sylvia. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hi. I said hi. I'm busy, Sylvia. Hello, Kate. <laughs> Go away, Sylvia. <laughs> Just trying to make friends. Uh, don't bother me. I'm trying to prepare my fall curriculum. You don't like me, do you? Well, it's not a question of that. You don't like dogs. I like them when they belong to other people. You're prejudiced. <laughs> not at all. You're prejudiced against dogs. I am not prejudiced against dogs, Sylvia. When I was a girl, I read the Albert Payson Terhune dog books cover to cover. I watched Lassie on television. I'm a huge fan of 101 Dalmatians. When the children were small, when we lived in the suburbs, <laughs> we had lots of dogs, and guess who ended up missing the damn things? But I do not want a dog now, Sylvia. That is the point. 
Now our last child has gone off to college and we've moved into town. And the dog phase of my life is definitely over. Now, I have gotten my master's degree, Sylvia, and I have a very challenging teaching job. And frankly, I don't want to worry about animals. So if you'll excuse me, I will return to the daunting task of planning how to teach Shakespeare in the inner city junior high school. <laughs> Fine. No problem. I'll, I'll just stay out of your hair. <laughs> oh, Sylvia. Are you, are you speaking to me? I said off that couch right now. I'm just relaxing. Can't I even relax? Now off and stay off. Easy. Take it easy. Well, I am sorry, but you've got to learn. I've sat on couches before, you know. What? I said, I've sat on couches before. I've sat on plenty of couches. Well, you're not sitting on that one. Hoity toity to you. Oh, quiet, I'm busy. <laughs> Can I at least sit on this chair? Oh, no, Sylvia, now off. Oh, shit, piss. <laughs> this is not going to work, Sylvia. What do you mean? I'm afraid you're going to have to go. Hey, I'm sitting here and I'm sitting on the floor. Look how quickly I sat. Still, you're going to the pound. Okay, look. I get the picture. I'll avoid the furniture. I'm not dumb. I I'm sorry, Sylvia. You're going to the pound. I'm sure someone will come along and give you a nice home. But I have a nice home right here. Oh, but this doesn't make any sense, Sylvia. Nobody's around here all day long. You'll be bored out of your mind, stuck in this apartment. I don't mind. I'll, I'll sleep. I'll chew things. Oh, that's just the trouble. All right, I won't chew things. Just show me the rules, and I'll follow them. I swear. We go out a lot, Sylvia. We visit our friends in the country on weekends. We see the kids at college. I'll come, too. No, I don't want that. I want my freedom, Sylvia. I want freedom from dogs. Now... I'm sure you'll be much happier somewhere else. In the pound? Well, I shouldn't have said the pound, really, Sylvia. Um, not the pound. We'll give you to, what is it? The Animal Rescue League or the Humane Society. They suck. Oh, now. They suck. You have no idea what they do. Oh, I'm sure they make have every you ever been there? Have you ever bothered to check them out? Well, no, but rows of cages, the shitty food. Now, now. The time limit. Time limit? They all have time limits. They don't broadcast it, but they do. <coughs> if someone doesn't bail you out normally within five working days, they put you to sleep. Sylvia? They do. They kill you. Look, it's a tough world out there, lady. I know. I've been there. That's why I want to be here. With you. <laughs> Sylvia, I'm terribly sorry, but I really must put my foot down. Hey, oh, hey. hey Sylvia, baby. I love you, I love you. <laughs> How did you leave it with Harold, Greg? We agreed to disagree. Oh, Greg. He keeps wanting to shift me into the money markets. What's wrong with that? I'll tell you what's wrong with that. It's too abstract. That's what's wrong with that. I don't see why. Look, Kate, I like manufacturing. Starting off in product development, I like that. I, I, I could see what we were making. I could touch it. I could tinker. And I like selling, too, when they bought me up to sales. I still knew the product. I could picture it in my mind, okay? So then they acquire an investment company and tell me to trade. I try. I study up. I learn about oil, soybeans, corn. I read the forecast. I figure the trends. I trade. <laughs> Okay, not great, but I get by. But now they want me to trade currency, okay? money markets, derivatives. I can't do that, sweetheart. What's behind currencies? Other currencies. What's behind them? Who knows? Nothing to touch, to see, to get a purchase on. And that's what I mean when I say it's too abstract. Don't lose your job, Greg. It wouldn't kill me. But the kids would have to quit school. That wouldn't kill them. Oh, Greg! I'm not so sure college is the answer to everything in life. You went to college. That's why I'm not so sure. Oh, for God's sake. If they really want college, they'll find ways of paying for it. They might get more out of it, too. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Neither can I. That's what makes it so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> How did you leave it with Harold, Greg? I told him to put me in something real. Real? What's real? 
Sylvia's real, aren't you, Sylvia? I sure try to be. Oh. <laughs> Down, Sylvia. <laughs> Down, Sylvia. You your clothes. Don't jump up, Sylvia. Sorry, I went a little overboard there. Let me at least try your cage. For how long? A few days at least. All right for a few days. <laughs> Yippee! Yay! I sense a change in the weather here. For a few days, we will try Sylvia, in the fervent hope that you will realize how dumb it is to take a dog on at this stage of your life. Fair enough, Kate. You're happy, I'm happy. Mm. <laughs> no, now wait. I also want one thing clear. She's yours, not mine. I won't walk her, I won't feed her. And I don't want her jumping onto any of the furniture. <gasps> What's that? What's what? That puddle. She's peed, Greg. Did you do that, Sylvia? I won't dignify that with an answer. Oh, of course she did that. I'm not saying a word. She was nervous, Kate. Strange place, hostile atmosphere. That's it. That was the problem. Oh, you should punish her, Greg. I can't punish her. It's too late to punish her. I love this man. I adore him. <laughs> Rubber knows it, and at least oh, he's got you the Hey, 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 hey! I'm getting nervous! I might fight! No! Now relax, Sylvia! <laughs> at least clean it up, Greg. Glad to. It's slightly embarrassing. Honestly, springing a dog on me this way. There. All cleaned up. See? Not a trace. Wasn't there, didn't happen. <laughs> You've really thrown me a curve here, Greg. Tell you what, we'll go out. Out now? Did I hear the word out? I meant Sylvia. Oh. Let's go out, Sylvia. No, I can't wait. No, oh. we're going out. Down, Sylvia, down. But it's my favorite thing. What about the Waldman? Let's go, Greg. The Waldmans? Come on, Greg. The concert. Take Betsy in my place. She loves concerts. Oh, oh sweetheart. Sylvia needs to go. Oh, sweetheart, I'm worried about your job. I'm worried about you, and I'm worried about us. I'm worried about Sylvia at the moment. <laughs> I must be cruel, only to be kind. Thus bad begins, and worse remains behind. Hamlet, Act Three. <laughs> The park where we met, remember? I'm nervous. Oh, no. Hey, you're in your element, Sylvia. This is nature. This is your natural habitat. I'm still nervous. Look at those other dogs. I see them. I see them. This is called Dog Hill. They allow dogs to play freely here. Go play, Sylvia. Hey, hey stop pushing. Well, then go. There's your group. There's your pack. Call the wild kid. I know all that. And you need the exercise. Look, it's no easy thing wading into a new group. They could gang up on you, or bite, or simply ignore you. I notice you're not barging into that group of dog owners over there. You have a point. So let me take my own sweet time. Good girl. Good. Go on. Play. Run around. Good. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. You know around here? Just got a dog. That one yours? Right. Cute. Thanks. Cute little butt on it. I agree. That's my golden sniffing around it. Good-looking dog. His name's Bowser. He looks like a Bowser. He is. He is definitely a Bowser. <laughs> Mine's called Sylvia. Sylvia? Oh. You don't like the name Sylvia? Might cause problems. Why? You give a dog a woman's name, you begin to think of her like a woman. Oh, yes? That can spell trouble, which is why I always go for doggy names like Spot, Fido, Bowser. Sylvia? That can spell trouble. Oh, come on. Maybe I'm just associating. I had a girl named Sylvia. Was she good looking? No, she was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along. Sylvia and Bowser. Easy, Bowser, go slow. Is Sylvia spayed? She's a stray. I haven't had her checked yet. Don't let them spay her. Do you sure she's been in heat? Don't? It's a feminist thing. You're supposed to let them experience how it feels to be female. That way they retain a sense of gender later on. Ah. There's a book on the subject called Play Now, Spay Later. <laughs> 
I'll bring it next time I come to the farm. Thanks. Just touch and bait, dear. Just touch and bait. <laughs> Having a good time, Sylvia? The best. Do you like Bowser? I think he's absolutely fantastic. Well, then go back and play. May I? Sure, kid. Go on. Shoot. Oh, boy, Bowser. Run your nuts. Here I go. <laughs> She's a little insecure, isn't she? Why do you say that? The way she checks back with you. She loves me. Ah. She thinks I saved her life. I'm her knight in shining armor. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's the matter now? You married? Sure, why? Wife fond of Sylvia? Not yet, why? Kids out of the nest? Right, why? Be careful. What do you mean? You can get lost in it. Oh, yes? Oh, sure. A man and his dog. It's a big thing. I guess it is. Women sense it. They nose it out. My wife feels very threatened by it. She does? Oh, God, yes. And I imagine it's worse with yours. Why? No offense, but you're older. With older guys, it can become major. Think so? Oh, sure. It's something to hold on to on the way down. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, women with dogs, no problem. A dog is basically another kid to them. It's a maternal thing. But for guys, it's different. When I come home at night, I have to remind myself to kiss my wife before I say hello to Bowser. Mm hmm I even think about him at work. I keep wanting to call him up and chew the fat. I don't think it's a gay thing, but I love that guy. I can understand that. <laughs> and they say it's even worse if your dog's a female. Really? <laughs> there was a guy here, had a little dog named Debbie. Half Bassett, half Beagle, sweet little thing. His wife walked in on giving Debbie a bath and got so jealous, she gave the dog away. Damn, what'd the guy do? Sued her for damages. The judge was a dog owner and came down on his side. He said a man and his dog is a sacred relationship. What nature hath put together, let no woman put asunder. So what happened? Well, the guy got Debbie back and his wife back, and they all tried moving to Vermont. But it's still not good. Someone visited them recently and said it reminded them of the last chapter of Ethan Throne. Good Lord. There's a book on the problem, actually called Your Pooch and Your Partner. It has one basic bit of advice. Always remember that your dog is simply a dog. Always keep reminding yourself of that fact. Not a person, just a dog. Force yourself to think it. Otherwise, you could get into deep dog shit. Gotcha. Well, time to go. I better hold on to Sylvia so she won't follow Bowser. Oh, she won't do that. She might. Bowser brings out the beast in her. Big beast. Sylvia! Slaves, Katie. Time is for people to have things to do. I have an evening meeting. In the middle of August? They're deciding to try a pilot program for my new English curriculum. What? Hey, you're turning into a big cheese. Oh, I try. You do more than try, you succeed, baby. Well, let's hope. <laughs> anyway, I had to eat early. The microwave stand's waiting. Bye. Where's saliva? <laughs> Her name is Sylvia, Kate. Where is she? She's a little hyper at the moment, so I put her in a foyer. No wonder things seem so peaceful. Hey, Katie, before you go, I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? Remember I said that Sylvia was a little hyper? I vaguely recall that observation, yes. I'll show you why. I haven't got much time, Greg. I've had her professionally groomed. <laughs> Sylvia, come! They gave her the full treatment. Flea dip, nails clipped, ears cleaned, the works. Really? They even evacuated her anal glands. <laughs> okay, but the girl who gave her the bath said she thought she was basically French poodle. Quando 
They told me she was crawling with fleas. You were right about that, Katie. But now look at her. Isn't she spectacular? <laughs> don't you want to keep her now? Off the couch, Sylvia. Oh, come on. Greg, I don't want her on the furniture. Off, Sylvia. Smell her, Kate. I don't want to smell her. No, really, I she can... smells great. Come on, smell. I can smell her from here, sweetheart. Then don't you think she smells great? I think she smells like a lavatory in an airplane. Oh, Kate. <laughs> All right, a laboratory in first class. Well, at least you admit she's a class act. Oh, so team, I've uh, really got to go, Greg. But just look at her! Isn't she fucking gorgeous? <laughs> Don't use that word, Greg, if you can possibly help it. I am spending my days trying to teach urban children the liberating possibilities of William Shakespeare and all his majesty and variety. I prefer not to come home to four-letter words. <laughs> Dig her. She's tired. She works hard. She doesn't like me very much. She will, Sylvia. She makes me nervous. I sense the clock ticking. She just takes her time about things. Hey, it took her two years to say she'd marry me. Two years? See, if you multiply that by seven, 14 years. <laughs> I make that 14 years dog time. That's too long, Greg. She's worth it, Sylvia. I promise. Yeah, but can't I do something to speed things up? I'm tired of feeling like a house guest around here. I want to feel totally at home. She'll come around, Sylvia. <laughs> She's just a little career-oriented at the moment. It's a phase women are going through these days. Come on. Let's see what there is for chow. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Harold. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's never too late, Harold. <laughs> no, he's fine. Why did you think he was sick? What? The whole afternoon? <clears throat> no, I, I didn't know that, Harold. Yes, well, um, he's not here right now. He's out with a, 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 a client, actually. Which come, did they come in his weary butt this afternoon? <laughs> oh, is it that late? <laughs> yes, well, it must be because this client's a real party animal. <laughs> yes, Harold, I'll tell Greg to stop by your office first thing. Goodbye, Harold. Lord, Lord, how this world is given to lying. Henry IV, part one. <laughs> you know something, Sylvia? I'm beginning to like these late night walks. They're turning into a whole new thing. Excuse me, I was concentrating on that Doberman across the street. I was just saying that these walks at night are giving me a whole new perspective on life. The city seems to be shaking itself down to its essentials. That truck delivering tomorrow's vegetables. That doorman keeping watch over his flock by night. That young couple hurrying home to screw. <laughs> Food, shelter, sex. The basic things stand out at night, Sylvia. Now wait, go slow here. I'm not quite with you, Greg. Remember when we passed that poor homeless woman huddled in the doorway? Or that scruffy guy poking in the garbage for soft drink cans? Remember how I made eye contact with him, Sylvia? We recognized each other in ways we could never do during the day. You want to run that by me one more time? I just mean that when I'm out here at night with you, all the bustle of the daytime world seems like an old game of trivial pursuits. I feel connected to my fellow creatures in a new and special way. I, I feel part of some larger pack. Surely you can understand that. Nope. I thought I had it, but it slipped away. <laughs> Maybe it's just the anxieties of middle age or the sense of disillusionment which goes with late 20th century capitalism. I mean, the Cold War is over, Sylvia. We've won, but what have we got? I wish 
I could contribute something here, Greg, but I just plain can't. Never mind. Look, Sylvia, look up there. Through all this urban haze, you can still see a star. How long has it been since we really looked at the stars? Our early ancestors knew them cold, Sylvia. They could read them like books. They used them to guide their way through forests and across deserts and over the vast expanses of the sea. Birds and animals know them too, I hear. Mm. Migrating geese, salmon, wildebeest. Huh? I guess what I'm talking about is instinct, Sylvia. Maybe we have instincts we don't even know about. Maybe we're experiencing basic pulls we don't even recognize. Maybe that vast book of nature spread open above us is trying to tell us things we once knew and have forgotten and need to know again. Wow, Greg. Boy. Hmm. All I know is you trigger those instincts in me, Sylvia. You take me back in some basic way. Oh, and hey, look, there's the moon. Catch that moon, Sylvia, rising between those buildings? How many people these days really notice the moon? I suppose you want me to sit down and howl at it. I wouldn't mind. Well, I can't do that. Sorry, Greg. I like to think I've grown beyond that kind of behavior. Excuse me while I check up on the late news. Thinking about quitting my job, Sylvia. Oh? Chucking the whole thing. What would you do instead? Something with you, maybe. I wouldn't mind going into advertising. How would you feel about doing one of those Ralph Lauren ads like you see in the New York Times Sunday Magazine? You nursing a glass of scotch and me curled up comfortably on some couch? I could do that, Greg. No, Sylvia. No advertising, please. That's even worse than trading currencies. No, we should do something more essential. Drug detection, maybe. Can you detect drugs? I'd sure like to try. Or how about working with the blind? Or I could take you to nursing homes or children's wards and hospitals. Old people and kids, Sylvia, they're keyed into the essentials. They connect with you immediately. Hold it. What? There's something there. Where? There, there, under that parked car. I don't see it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, that is just a cat. No. Just an old pussy cat. Look at it. Easy I now. said, let me at that thing. I want to kill that furball. No, Sylvia, no. Hey, you. Hey, Kitty. You were stuck as shit, you know that? Move on, Sylvia. You're disgusting, Kitty. You're a disgrace to the animal kingdom. Even Sylvia, let's move on. Can you smell that thing? I can smell it from here. Now, you now. Hey, Kitty, take a bath one time. Who are you staring at, you sneaky bastard? Are you staring at me? Let's go, Sylvia. Up yours, Kitty. Up yours with a ten foot tail. Come on now. You gotta be chased up a tree, you shit for brain. Shove it on a plate up your tail and shove it up your ass. Sylvia. Wow, Sylvia. Sorry, Greg, but I had to do it. You're full of surprises, aren't you? You want instinct? You got instinct. I sure did. A whip of the jungle, right? Nature, tooth, and claw. I'll say. I must say, it helps to express your feelings. I should say that stuff to Harold at work. How's that go again? You're a sack of shit, Harold. You're a disgrace. Hey, look, here comes that corgi from over on Columbus Avenue. Shall I sidle up to him or ignore him completely? Surprise me, Sylvia. Surprise me! Said there'd be a short delay. Damn. Well, give me more time to prepare for the conference. You should go home, sweetie. Oh, I'll stick around in case you're canceled. Oh, no, you don't have to. I want to. You shouldn't even have bothered to drive me out here. I wanted to. You wanted an excuse to skip that dinner with those clients. I wanted to be with you. I really should get some work done. Go ahead. I'll just sit with you. What about Her Holiness? Who? Oh, Sylvia! What about her? I thought she hated to be left alone. I can't be with her every minute. Oh, that's good to know. She'll have me all to herself while you're gone. Oh, goody, goody! 
Besides, she has to learn to be left alone occasionally. You think I was going to the moon the way she looked when I left tonight? I kept saying I'll just be gone a little while, but she gave me this soulful look. All right, all right. I'm sorry I brought it up. Every time we say goodbye, I die. Every time we say goodbye, I wonder why a little. Why the gods above me? me they'd allow you to go when you're near there's such an air of spring about it I can hear a lark somewhere begin to sing about it there's no love song finer, but how strange the change from major to minor. Every time we say goodbye. Let's go now. There is my plane. Yes, I'm off. Goodbye, darling. I'll see you on Wednesday night. I'll miss you. Oh, sure. Really, I will. Every time we say goodbye, I die a little. Every time we say goodbye, I wonder why a little. Why the gods above me must be in the know Think so little of me, they'd allow you to go When you're near, there's such a each other on the street, Phyllis. That's New York for you. The biggest small town in the world. I'm discovering that. Well, now that you and Greg are here, 
Hamilton and I want to give you a small dinner party. Oh, wait. What? Not there. You'll ruin this nice coat. She leaves those great grubby hairs. Who? Sylvia. Sylvia? That dog. Woo! You let the dog onto the couch? I do not. I absolutely forbid it, but she... I prefer not to talk about it. Good for you. We New Yorkers all have parts of our lives we keep to ourselves. I mean, we all have private parts. I mean... Oh. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Phyllis. I hear you and Hamilton are the toast of the East Side. Oh, well, we circulate. Who would you like to meet? Kitty Carlisle Hart? Charlene Hunter Gold? Buchos, Buchos, Gali? Anyone interested in New York schools? Fine. I'll organize an evening which will focus strictly on the educational. She waits, you know. She literally waits until I'm out of this apartment and then she leaps onto this couch. The dog? Sylvia. And then when she hears my key in the latch, she jumps off. Are you sure? Oh, I am. Once I sneaked back in and caught her red-handed. I hope you punished her immediately. Oh, I tried. But she practically laughed in my face. She only listens to Greg. Well, then Greg should punish her. Dogs are like children. They have to be thoroughly disciplined from <laughs> the ground up. Greg punish Sylvia? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Let's talk dates for the party. Oh, fine. Let's see. Oh, Hamilton and I are booked solid <laughs> through October, but how about November 6th? Fine. Good. There's no friends. I like have the strong <laughs> suspicion that when I am out of this apartment, they sit on this couch together. Greg <laughs> and Sylvia? They do everything together. Once I caught them sharing an ice cream cone. Ooh, how disgusting! Oh, and she uses his hairbrush. I mean, he uses his on her. Hamilton has taken up goldfish. At least they stay in the bowl. Not necessarily. What? Sometimes he takes them into the bathtub. No. I swear if you bring it up, he'll deny it, but I swear I caught him at it. Good Lord! Look at us! Here we are talking about animals when we should be planning a party. You are absolutely right, Phyllis. Let's have a drink. What would you like? Wine, vodka, what? Just fizzy water, please. I'm trying to give up alcohol. Oh, good for you. I'll get it. Now, fill me in on this school thing, Kate. I saw Madge McKenzie at the Colony Club, and she says you're roaming around Harlem reciting Shakespeare. That's why I want to meet people with Paul. I'm trying to put Shakespeare into the junior high curriculum. Is that possible? I mean, at that age. I mean, these days. I mean, up there? I hope so, Phyllis. If we can hook children in junior high, we might have them for life. <laughs> I wish I could believe that, Kate. Oh, and it's not just Shakespeare. It's language in general. These kids are fascinated by words. They rap, they rhyme, they invent these exciting phrases and metaphors, just the way Shakespeare did. Now, if we can take their energy and curiosity and imagination and give them words, more words, good words in significant context that maybe she wants to sleep in our bed, you know. Sylvia? Sylvia wants to sleep in our bed. You said no, I hope. Of course I said no, not even outside the covers. I should certainly hope not. Oh, but Greg fought me all the way and continues to on every issue. When we visited our friends, the Wardwells up in Williamston, he insisted on taking her with us. At least it's the country. It was our anniversary, Phyllis. How would you like to be driving through that lovely New England scenery with Sylvia drooling down the back of your neck? I see your point. And then when we arrived, the Wardwells put us all in the same room. You and Greg and Sylvia? There we were all holed up together. Greg and I spent our wedding anniversary with Sylvia wandering restlessly around the room, peering over the bed and panting. How horrible. I mean, here I am, breaking my back, trying to instill some sense of civility into American life. She drinks from the john, you know. Sylvia. <laughs> she drinks from the toilet. Sometimes when we're having a decent dinner, 
you can hear these great gulping sounds coming. <laughs> Good heavens! And then she comes back in and sits slobbering by the table, eyeing us all through the meal. You see, they're like children. They have to be exiled while we eat. Don't I wish. Uh, how about a refill, Phyllis? I'm fine, thanks. I might just shift to a little scotch. <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> now be careful, Kate. Don't start leaning on liquor. Take it from one who knows. It's the curse of our generation. He takes Sylvia out to lunch, you know. No. He does. He dashes home at noon and takes her out to lunch. He's found some restaurant on Amsterdam Avenue which is willing to serve Sylvia. I'm appalled. <laughs> and lately he's been taking the afternoons off. Hamilton sometimes does that. He sneaks down to the aquarium. <laughs> but Greg does it every afternoon. He and Sylvia go to lunch and then they go on these long walks. He covers the entire city. He says that with Sylvia, he meets all sorts of people from all walks of life. He says he's having a truly democratic experience for the first time in his life. I thought Greg was a Republican. Oh, he was. He used to be. Hamilton, at least, is that. Oh, I almost wish Greg would change back. I think all men should be Republicans, Kate. It seems to be good for their prostate. <laughs> voted for Dole, why he... I can't wait till the next election. Uh, but I've been talking too much. I think I hate Sylvia Phyllis. No. I do. I never thought I could hate anyone except Nixon. <laughs> but now I hate Sylvia. She's just a dog, Kate. I don't care if she's just a kangaroo. She's destroying our marriage. Oh. Sometimes I want to kill her, Phyllis. I want to put decon in her dog dish. <laughs> now that's a little drastic. Oh, but I feel doomed, Phyllis. Cooped up in this small apartment with that creature. Then draw the line, Kate. Say she simply got to go. Oh, I've tried. We keep making these clear agreements. And Greg keeps breaking them like Hitler. Oh, Kate. I have the terrible feeling that I'm going to be spending the next ten years of my life with Sylvia. Do you think she'll last that long? Oh, I know she will, but I won't. <laughs> if this continues, she'll stand drooling over my grave. Hello! There they are. Phyllis Cutler is here, dear. Now brace yourself. Here we are. Why, Phyllis, hello. Good to see you again. This is Sylvia. Hello, hello, hello. Nice crotch here. Nice oh, crotch. Oh, 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 oh. Down, Sylvia. Down, Sylvia. She doesn't normally do that. She does it all the time. <laughs> hey, listen. We learned three new tricks today. Want to see them? We do not. Phyllis wants to see them. Don't you, Phyllis? Well, uh, Wait. <laughs> How did you have time to teach Sylvia tricks? I came home early. Why, Greg? So I could teach Sylvia tricks. See? We found a quiet place in the park and we practiced. Didn't we, Sylvia? We did, we did. So, first trick. Where's your little red ball, Sylvia? Huh? Find your little red ball. Oh, gotcha. Now, see, little red ball. Now give it to Danny. Why should I? Give it to Danny, Sylvia. <laughs> Here's a treat if you give that ball back to Daddy. Okay. Good girl. <laughs> now catch the ball, Sylvia. I'm still eating. Catch the ball. <laughs> was a tough one. Good girl. You are a good girl, Sylvia. Now, go fetch, Sylvia. Go fetch that ball? Go fetch that ball. All right, I will, seeing as I'm your god. <laughs> you see what I'm up against? Notice how all conversation stops. Notice how civilization completely collapses while we wait for Sylvia. I might have a small scotch, Kate. Phyllis. I want one, Kate. Right now, please.
You're worried, aren't you? Actually, I am, Greg. Don't be. She'll find her ball. <laughs> Probably under the hall table. <laughs> See what I tell you? I'm ultimately relieved. Here's the ball, Greg. Thank you, Sylvia. Good girl. Now, when Kate gets back, I want you to roll over. I don't like rolling over, Greg. I know, but I want you to Here do you it. Here you are, Sylvia. Uh, Greg, don't you think that we might... Hold it. Watch this. Roll over, Sylvia. This is the one I don't like, Greg. Go on. Do it, Sylvia. Roll over. And you get this treat. All right, I'll do it, but I really hate this one. I feel like a fool, but there you have it. Good girl, Sylvia. Hey, up there. Here you are, Sylvia. Here you are. See, see what we accomplished. Did you like that trick, fellas? No. Oh, oh Sylvia, Sylvia, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> have you tried spanking her? I don't think there's enough spanking these days. Uh, Greg, don't you think that we might possibly put Sylvia in the kitchen? I mean, we want to talk to Phyllis, don't we? Wait, just one more trick. <laughs> Speak, Sylvia. Speak? Speak, Sylvia. I'm not sure what he wants here. Speak, Sylvia. Speak. All right. Now, wait. I'm sure I know this one. I've just forgotten. Look at this treat, Sylvia. You get back. it if you speak. It's coming back to me. Speak, Sylvia. Hey. Good girl. Hey, hey. Good girl. Hey, hey, hey. That's a very good girl. <laughs> See, sweetie, she can speak. So much for Shakespeare. <laughs> I have to go. But we finally found. I must be off early. So nice to see you, Ben Kate. Goodbye, Greg. Bye-bye, Sylvia. Oh, 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 Ben, <laughs> She likes you a lot, Phyllis. Driving away our friends, Greg. Oh, come on. She is, Greg. She gave Alice Felker a bloody novel. She thought Alice was playing. But Alice wasn't. Alice was defending herself. <laughs> I'd like to eat, please. Time to chow down. Oh, our friends loathe her. The Wardwells loved her. They specifically said the next time we came up to be sure to bring Sylvia. They were just being nice. They loved her. Most people love her. People stop me in the street to pat her. Children's faces brighten as we walk by. She lightens my life. She darkens mine, Greg. <laughs> Where's dinner? I'm going to go check on dinner. She's hungry. Oh, wait. I want to talk about this. We've been all through it. We have not been all through it. Did you get fired today? What? Did you get fired? What makes you think that? I have an instinct. <laughs> Did you get fired? No, of course not. No. I got temporarily laid off. Greg. They gave me a leave of absence for medical reasons. Medical reasons? They think I need counseling. Oh, you do, darling. You really do. Just because my work doesn't seem real anymore? What is real, Greg? Sylvia. Sylvia is real. What's real, Greg? The mortgage on this apartment is real. The kids' tuitions are very, very real. I need to feel more... More what, Greg? And don't say real. More connected, then. Connected? Connected to what? Life. No, uh... Living. I think I'm beginning to understand, darling. You are? I am, sweetheart. This is another one of those things that happens to men in middle age. No, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is, darling. I admit I'm slightly sauced, but I still know a hawk from a handsaw. What? It's like when poor fat old Ted Donahue tried to take up tap dancing. This is entirely different. Well, I'm sorry, dear. But whatever it is, I have to say, time's up. Time's up. Really up. Now, I said I'd try, and I have, and it's been much more than a few days. So I'm putting my foot down, Greg. I want you to give Sylvia away. Away? I want that. 
I'm asking that. I insist upon it. What do you mean, give her away? To whom? Some farmer. Give her to some farmer. There are no farmers anymore. Farmers don't exist. Read the New Republic. Oh, great. And I refuse to give my dog to some agricultural conglomerate. Sylvia being cared for by Archer Daniels Midland? Nope, sorry, can't do it. Greg, look what I got! Good Lord, she's got my shoe! It's a peace offering! It is not, it's a deliberate act of aggression. Look at this shoe! Look at this fabulous shoe! Drop it, Sylvia, right now. Chase me! Oh, my Sylvia! Come on, let's do it! She just wants to play! Sylvia, Sylvia bring it here! Good girl. <laughs> Here's your shoe, Kate. She's ruined my shoe. It's an old shoe. It is not at my best pair. Oh, you owe me a new pair of shoes, Greg. Okay, okay, I'll buy you some shoes. Oh, I'll bet you took my book, too. What book? My annotated copy of All's Well That Ends Well. I can't find it. I bet Sylvia took it and ate it. Hey, she hey, wouldn't hey, do that. Hey, she have my New York hey, card. Hey, it's hey. a lousy issue anyway. Greg, I am it. issuing an ultimatum. It's time for her dinner. Come on, sweetheart. Time hey. to eat. Hey. Sweetheart? <laughs> is it sweetheart now? Damn it, Greg. When's the last time you said that to me? <laughs> I believe this is yours. Uh, Sylvia, I have something to say to you. What if I don't feel like listening? Then I'll see to it that you never lick another plate. Okay, shoot. <laughs> off the couch, please. Greg lets me sit here. Well, I don't know. You get off. Go Thank on. you. I'm warning you. I have a no on the bike. Oh, you try that. You try that. Just once and you were off the door. Now, I'm going to say oh. Take it easy. I get the picture. <laughs> sure don't like me very much, do you? Well, I think it's safe to say I hate your guts. <laughs> May I ask why? Because you are messing around with my marriage. Ginger, come my master's boy. Oh, oh, hold it, Sylvia. Let me go. Uh, I plan to do everything I can to get you out this door. I doubt if you can do very much, Kate. Oh, oh before long, you're going to be cowering in some cage. No, nope. I believe I want to kill you. Now, you wait a minute, Sylvia. No. I am not through with you yet. Now, I want you to know that all you are is a male menopausal moment. Now, I know, it's been very exciting walking around town during these fine fall days. But when winter comes, when it's cold in the morning and dark in the afternoon, and he has to stand shivering in the park waiting to pick up your doo-doo, how long do you think you'll last then, Sylvia? He'll have second thoughts and I'll be right there to help him think of her. Oh! You're forgetting one thing, Kate. Oh, yes, what is that? He loves me. Oh, yes, he does. He thinks I shit ice cream. Oh. <laughs> well, there's love and there's love, sister. Yes, well, we'll see. Yes, we'll see. From here on in, it's a fight to the finish. Sure enough, and may the best species win. Hey, Greg! Can I play too? <laughs> <laughs>